I'm here in Hal at Greenhouse. Uh, matter of fact, uh, uh, this greenhouse is uh, one of the class projects. Uh, the, the course is uh, uh, greenhouse production using hydroponics, basically. And they're growing, the students are growing peppers, tomato plants, uh, various other ones that I'm not that familiar with. But anyway, the thing I want to point out is, uh, is the lighting here. You can see kind of the reddish blue uh, lights. These are LED lights. And I want to do this as a supplement to uh, uh, the uh, section on artificial light. In high maintenance athletic fields, one of the things they've been doing is that, as we talked about, is that they use artificial light, usually generally high pressure sodium lights, uh, for the purpose of providing light to an athletic field and also providing some heat for growing. And the pictures that you're going to be seeing uh, inserted into this presentation is that are from Pam Sherrod. Uh, the pictures were taken while she was at the uh, New York Red Bull Stadium, and uh, the pictures you're seeing are some of the, the rigs using these high-pressure sodium lights, which you can tell uh, by the yellowish type of color or glow that they're emitting. Now, NAS LED lights are extremely efficient. Why aren't LED lights being used now? Well, there's uh, a couple of reasons. And one is uh, actually cost. These high-pressure uh, sodium lamps or the high-intensity discharge lamps, if you're using those, which high-pressure sodium lamps are, those rigs that cover the field and provide the light, usually the cost is around a million dollars or a little more. To do the same thing with LED lights, it's two and a half times what? the high-intensity discharge lamp. So to equip uh, those uh, rigs with LED lights to do the same thing, you're looking at two and a half million dollars. So the cost is pretty prohibitive at, at the moment. And uh, hopefully you'll see some of the pictures I put in of uh, an LED type of experiment that they're using. You can see the same kind of glow that's occurring um, on the field that we're hopefully you're seeing here in the background. The second thing too is part of these artificial lights are used with the idea of being grow lights. In other words, during the winter and, and uh, early spring and late fall, when the grass isn't growing and the light intensity is low, um, these high pressure sodium lights provide a lot of heat to that turf that allows for growing. LED lights do not uh, uh, discharge or dissipate or have any heat really associated with them. So basically with LED lights, all you get is the light effect of photosynthesis. You don't get the heating that's associated with these other ones. So for those two major reasons right now, uh, LED lights are really not even thought of to use in, a, in an artificial lighting of stadium uh, turf grass system. Now, obviously, LEDs are used a lot of different places, can be used here in greenhouses, things like that. I would mention one last thing with these uh, uh, rigs, is that um, one of the things that you need to be concerned about is not only the cost of them, but how do you store these things? So, uh, within a, an athletic field or a professional stadium, like Red Bull Stadium, is you got to have a place where you can store these big rigs, and uh, that's no small challenge. So, so artificial lighting these fields is, is costly and a real challenge.